you stupid, selfish little cow. You know the hours we put in to build this case and the pressure we were under. And you knew the pain of the victims. You... Of course I know. We were ahead in there. Even with all the dirt that Sherwood threw at us, we were still ahead. And you walked in and you stood in that witness box and you undid every single thing we achieved. I told the truth. No one believes a word you say. Now, Kennedy's going to walk out of here and he's going to carry on exactly where he left off and no one is safe now. Let's get out of here. Can I have a minute, please, sir? Yes, Nixon. It's not over yet, Kennedy. Not by a long way. I'm innocent, dear Nixon. I'm walking out of here a free man. I'll see you around. PC Dunbar, would you care for an exclusive interview? Now what's going on? Well, someone set off the alarm. Pam. Escort Miss Dunbar to my office. All right. Smithy, please listen to me. I've listened to you enough. But there's something I need to do before you throw me out of here. Gabriel. I can link him to the sniper. Yeah, so you keep telling me. Yes, but now I've got the proof. All I need to do is go and collect it from my pigeonhole. So you can go to your newspaper and give him another big story and show us all up a little bit more? Andrea Dunbar solved sniper case. I wouldn't do that. Not at first. I can't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. Fine. If you can't trust me, trust your instinct. Come on, you never believed that Gabriel had an affair with Kerry and you always thought that he raped her. Kerry died because of that sniper. And I think we both want to know whether he was working alone. Sarge, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just that we've got some more members of the Megan family in reception. Okay. 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 Get the damn thing. If it does indicate that there's a connection between Gabriel and the sniper, you come and find me and we'll take it from there. Otherwise, I'll just assume it didn't prove a thing. Smithy. When you see Neil next, would you tell him I'm sorry? Neil. So the Kennedy trial claps then? Yep. Sam is furious. Understandable. So where's Andrea now? Long gone. How are you doing? Oh, Cara knows. How? Saw us together. He's given me an ultimatum. Andrea or the job. That's a tough call. <laughs> Not really, you know. A fling with an undercover journalist versus my career. When if it was just a flame, there's no contest. I'll see you in a bit. You look terrible. I'm fine, really. Bad news? Sort of. What's the matter? Nothing. I've told you, just keep away from me. Show me the letter. This isn't 
isn't something you can just close the door on and hope it'll go away, Gabriel. So you know I'm really David Kent. Big deal. Oh, I know a lot more than that. I don't think so. I'm not the only one who's had suspicions about what you were up to on the Coal Lane estate. I just happened to have found the last piece in the jigsaw. I wasn't up to anything. You wanted to make it a crime-free zone. You even had those two boys beaten up as an example to others, but it didn't work. So you brought in an old friend from the Gulf War, Jason Hardy. You gave him the names and he pulled the trigger. Sanford, Willard, Christopher Spinks. The sniper was working alone. Really? I don't believe you. I think you were in it together from the start, taking the law into your own hands. Apart from John Kirby, why would you want him dead? He hadn't done anything wrong. You spent an hour trying to talk him out of committing suicide. You didn't know, did you? What was it? You and the sniper had a fallout? He decided to go solo? Or maybe it was you who was aiming at and not Kirkby at all? Either way, an innocent man was condemned to a life in a wheelchair. You can't prove any of this. I could if the sniper was still alive. But he's not, is he, Gabriel? He fell to his death from a tower block while you were with him. Try to save him. So he could be arrested and brought back into the station? Now, that would have been an interesting interview. Everyone thought it was an accident. But it wasn't, was it? Shut up! It's the only way that you could regain control of the situation and guarantee his silence. You killed him. Then prove it. The evidence is standing right in front of me. There have been question marks over your behaviour from day one, Gabriel. Ask anyone. They'll look back and piece it together just like I have. A rumour here? A discrepancy there? You really think anyone's gonna believe you? Oh, they will. And not because of what I know or what I have guessed. But because they've worked alongside you. They've seen the things you've done. Heard the things you've said. They know you. No one knows me. Bend to Sun Hill for revenge. Simple as that. June hadn't had a lot to answer for. She's your mother. No. She's Gabriel's mother. I'm David, can't remember. June gave Gabriel up for adoption. My parents took him in when I was young. And everything changed. I hated him for it. But I hated June more for giving him up. I wanted her to pay. So I came here and I told her I was her son. Then watched her suffer. You're sick. Maybe. So once you'd done that, why didn't you just leave? I like being a copper. I like the power the uniform gave me. The kind of power I hadn't had since I was in the Navy. I was able to help people. Make a difference. The only trouble is sometimes the law doesn't go far enough. And you had to take it into your own hands? Everyone who died deserved what they got. Not everyone. Sanford, Willard. I'm talking about Kerry. She hadn't committed any crime. Why would the sniper want to shoot her? I already thought me and Kerry could have had something special, you know? You told everyone it was something special. I loved her. But she didn't love me. You did rape her, didn't you? She shouldn't have let it go that far. She should have told me she wasn't interested. She led me on. And she got what she deserved? It could have ended there, you know. We could have put it behind us. She started nosing around, asking questions, finding out things she wasn't supposed to know. Did you tell the sniper to kill her? I didn't tell Jason anything. Then why did he shoot her? He didn't. I saw Kerry talking to Smithy. I knew she was going to expose me. You pulled the trigger. I killed Kerry. And I killed her baby, too. 
Why are you telling me all of this? Why not? The game's up. And you know what it's like to live with a secret. It's hardly the same thing, Gabriel. You're a murderer. Oh, I'm more than that. I destroy people. Tear them to pieces. First it was June. Then Kerry. I took everything she'd got and then I killed her. Jason would have turned on me. Told the truth. So I had to kill him too. It was the only way. And now there's you. Please let me go. But you're a journalist. Not anymore. I'm your colleague. And I'm your friend. I could help you. How? You can't carry on like this. It has to stop sometime. So why don't you come out here with me now? And you can tell people the truth. Did Andrea leave the real? I haven't seen it, but I can't say that I've been looking. Oh. Reg, are you? I know. But I know, I'm just running a little bit behind at the moment. Can I call you back in a minute? All right, draw. Smithy. Excuse me. Has Andrea done bark on you? I believe she has. Gav. Um, she wanted me to pass on a message to you. She wanted you to know that she was sorry. Gabriel, I know what it's like to live a double life. Every day I've had to walk in here and lie to people. People that I care about. My colleagues. My friends. Even the man I love. But I knew I'd be found out one day. I just wanted it to be on my own terms not splashed across the front pages of the Daily News. But you know, in a way, now that it's over, it's a relief. No more secrets. No more lying. And I think you need that too. How can you carry the weight of what you've done around with you? How do you sleep at night? I don't. 